Jane. Well, it's time to have a look at the first kit that we're going to use to teach ourselves. And Philippa calls this one her masterclass in cruel work. It's the tumbling feathers. And with this, you do all the basic cruel work stitches. Um, and it's such a pretty design as well. It makes a lovely cushion cover, a cushion, uh, pillow uh, cover um, when you've completed it. So uh, everybody can see your beautiful piece of work when you've finished. So if I open this up, you'll find inside it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. Um, everything is beautifully wrapped up. And if I just open this here, just get a little bit closer like that. Can you see? Beautiful inside is the kit itself. And all the kits come with instructions. They're bespoke instructions for each of the kits. So you, with a kit instruction, and also with the, that's the kit instruction, and with the stitch chart, which is this one, you can, you can teach yourself how to do this design. Um, and if you're a newbie, a complete newbie, and never done any needlework before, or if you've not done crew work before, every kit comes with the essential guide to crew work, which gives you all the really basics, including details about the frame, um, the seat frame that I was talking about in the last video. It also gives you details of how to complete your piece, how to block it, so you get no creases out of it. Because one thing Philippa always says is, when you get your linen, this is quite a big piece of linen as well. Um, when you get your linen, though it's got these, these folds in them, do not, whatever you do, she says, do not iron it. Because when you finish the piece, um, it's, there's a blocking process that's to, to stretch it out and all those, those, those folds will disappear. So please, please, please do not worry about the folds in it. We'll, we'll go through that at the very end. I've watched to do it. Um, not done it myself, but I have watched to do it, and it is true, it does work. So that's the lovely linen that we're going to be working on. Um, with sti stitch instructions, it, it, it goes step by step, um, showing you what to do um, from right from the very start, from how to, how to thread your needle and sort of where to start. And one of the key rules that Philippa always says is start from the background to the foreground. So as we work through these instructions, it'll start with the background and to the foreground. And we'll keep seeing that over and over again as we do different kits. Also in this beautiful box is our Tumbling Feathers um, walls, which are such pretty sort of mauve colours. And they remind me of going on to the Yorkshire Moors um, when it's the heather's out. It's just those same colours as, as heather on the moors. So, and I think it's quite nice that inside here, it's the tissue papers, that nice purpley colour as well. So it all links together with this beautiful, um, beautiful design. You also get your needles as well in a little bag like this. And the single thread is in, you use the gold needle. And for double thread, you use the silver needle. Um, it's quite important because the, the slightly bigger eye on them and, and the shape of them is a little bit chunkier than for the double. So now all we have to do is set up our frame. So join me um, in the next video and I'll show you how we get our frame set up.